Health officials in the Iraqi city of Fallujah are warning women not to have children after seeing an alarming rise in birth defects. A government study shows high levels of dioxins and radiation in more than 40 sites across Iraq. One of them is Fallujah, a city west of Baghdad. In 2004, it was the scene of fear fighting between militants and the U.S. Army. War and neglect have left a legacy of environmental ruin. You may find some of the images in John Simpson's report distressing. The main hospital in Fallujah is newly opened, impressive, and built with American money. But it's hard to find the truth about birth defects even here. The Iraqi government doesn't encourage people to talk about it. The official version is that there is no real problem, just one or two more cases a year than the Iraqi average. People here told us the government doesn't want to cause any embarrassment for the Americans. So it takes courage to challenge the official version. One case a week, do you see something like no, that? No, 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 no. Two to three cases per day. Three cases a yes, day? Yes, yes. Mainly cardiac defects. What is it that's happened in Fallujah that means that these birth defects exist in such numbers? I am a doctor. I have uh, to be scientific in my talk. I have no proof and I have no, uh, nothing documented. But I can tell you that year by, by year, the, the number incre is increasing. And the sudden rise began after the fighting in 2004. We got some idea of the scope of the problem at a disability clinic. Staff feel swamped physically and emotionally. The director shows me dozens of photographs, a terrible record of suffering. There's one of a baby born with three heads. Many others are too dreadful to show. Rubble from buildings the Americans bombed was bulldozed into the river. Local people still get their drinking water from here. It's one possible cause for the birth defects. Now officials are advising women not to have children at all. Fallujah, strongly Sunni Muslim, was a major center of resistance to the Americans. The fiercest fighting happened here in Al Julan, and this is where the worst cases are found now. This little girl has six fingers on each hand, six toes on each foot. In this house, all three small children have serious birth defects. The two boys are partially paralyzed, the little girl has brain damage. Their mother blames the Americans. Until there's a proper independent investigation, we won't know if she's right. But what's certain is that thousands of children in this place have been terribly, cruelly damaged. John Simpson, BBC News, Fallujah.